auto obsessed here. A while back I showed you an ultra rare 1992 Porsche 911 RS Club Sport or otherwise known as an NGT. This was a one of only 290 built street legal race cars for the National Grand Touring Circuit. What made that car even more unique was it was the only one known to exist with only 2,000 original kilometers that had never been raced and never been altered. It's a true unicorn. Today I have the privilege to introduce to you a very special car that is a tribute to that car built by the same owner. And this is Gemini. This 964 in Grand Prix white has been heavily modified to match and in many areas exceed the specs of the original Porsche RS Club Sport NGT. We get to show you a test drive later in this video, but before we see the car out on the road, let's talk about how it was built and why it was brought to us. Gemini was just completed and delivered right to our door. The owner had never seen it in person until it showed up here at Auto Obsessed. His request to us was to go through the car from top to bottom, make it perfectly clean inside and outside. He's been waiting for three years for this car. It's finally here. Of course, it should be looking better than new. He also requested that we install a custom livery package. You can see here the full Mika Hakkinen livery from the 1991 964 Cup car. With the detail complete, the car looks perfect. I'm really pleased with the results here, and I know the owner will be too. So I'm all strapped into Gemini here. We just delivered the car to the owner after it going through the Auto Obsessed Detailing Studio. We did a full deed contamination wash, full paint correction. We did a wheels off ceramic coating, suspension detail. Uh, we added all the Liberty, uh, the decaline package on this car and uh, did the full interior, cleaned and conditioned all the leather and just gave it a 100% go over and handed it to the owner yesterday. Wow, this is a really rare opportunity. The owner had called me and uh, is giving us the opportunity to take Gemini for a ride and uh, share with our audience. So we're gonna take this car for a little spin and uh, I'll talk about some of the features of the car. You'll get an opportunity to kind of, you know, a, a little, quite, quite a bit different from, from what Auto Obsessed normally does. Normally you see your cars in the clean room and, and you see the cars in this studio and they're being worked on. Um, now we're able to take this particular car um, for a little bit of a test drive. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. So inside you'll first notice that this is very stripped out. So just like the RS Club Sport, all this has is just your two door carts, dashboard, no headliner, no carpets. Instantly you can hear everything just turned on. We can hear that lightweight flywheel in the back making a little bit of noise there, which is really, really cool. I'm all strapped in tightly. We've got our roll bar. We've got everything ready to go. Now let's go ahead and take it for a little spin. So Gemini is different than, than the other RS Club Sport. So this one's been modified. This one has the latest suspension, engine, interior. So one of the things right off the bat that Gemini, what makes Gemini so different from the original RS Club Sport is this has a four liter, 405 horsepower engine in it. It makes 325 pounds of torque beautiful music to my ears the transmission's been upgraded it's a very short shift transmission so the gearing's really nice and tight suspension's also KW suspension and it has the uh, Brembo, Brembo upgraded brakes the big brakes, four piston caliper just listen to that you can feel the torque So Gemini's engine's brand new, so we can only take it to just about 4,000 RPM during its break-in period. 
but I instantly get a feeling that this car wants to go. Just imagine a 964 with 405 horsepower out of a totally aspirated engine. This thing's gonna be a beast when it's able to open up. So even though it's, it has a, a racing type suspension, one of the things I noticed is it's very, very, I think it's very smooth, it's tight. It's tight, but very smooth. It, it's, uh, our, our, our Alberta roads sometimes aren't the best. Uh, so you see me bounce around a little bit, but the car is actually really, really comfortable. Uh, it feels great. The seats are awesome. So the owner has impeccable taste, and, and, and I comment to that to him all the time. Some of the things he comes up with and some of the ideas that, it, that he has are just, at first you're kind of okay, but then when you see it put together. So this has two-tone interior, so unlike the NGT, which uh, you know is quite plain, this one, even though it's all stripped out, amazing leather work. Two-tone leather, it has uh, beautiful stitching and some embossing. Uh, it looks really, really good. The seats feel great. The seat belt feels really nice. Everything is done really, really well. But he hasn't taken too much away from the raw you know, origins of what the NGT or the RS Club Sport was all about. And that's what I like about it. As I mentioned, he upgraded some of the things to make it more usable. This car was built to drive, and that's why he built Gemini. You can hear the modified exhaust. What a beautiful day to take it out. I'd like to thank the owner for allowing us to share his amazing cars with our audience. It's greatly appreciated and an honor to work with these incredible machines. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll have the link to the full detailing picture right up in our description below. As well, we'll link to the earlier video we did on the all original NGT. So be sure to check that out. If you've enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the notification icon to be notified when we release new content. And thank you for watching.